Today, Denver 7 is partnering with the Food Bank of the Rockies to kick off our seven days to help end hunger. My co-anchor Nicole Brady is live this morning at the Food Bank's distribution center waiting for the trucks to arrive and showing off all of the space that they have for your donations. Yeah. The, the trucks are here, Brian. We'll, we'll talk about that. But yeah, you, you know, as you point out, the food banks are struggling right now, and that's why we need your donations so critically. But I do want to give props to the amount of work the Food Bank of the Rockies does here. I mean, we have we had to stop Michello on his route here for a second. Let him come by. He is one of the drivers here. So loading up pallets right now uh, to put on his truck, and then he will distribute that to those partner agencies across Colorado and even in Wyoming. The Food Bank of the Rockies also has an amazing volunteer staff. They rely on 100 volunteers every day to get the job done here. And so I wanted to introduce you to one of those volunteers I met, Martha King, who started her time here during the pandemic. And she told me uh, that the pandemic really gave her the motivation uh, to donate her time more than ever before. And then when the pandemic hit, I had retired very recently. I thought, now what? What am I going to do? So I knew about the feed, food bank. I lived relatively close. I thought, well, I'll come in one or two days a week. But I loved it so much. I've been coming five mornings a week for two years. It's also nice because it accommodates whatever your physical ability or interest is. You can stand and be able to load boxes with pretty light foods, or you can clean some of the product that comes in. Or if you want a good workout, you can come on into the warehouse. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that that's where we are, where the workout happens. Also, uh, it's it's where refrigerated food stays very cold here. We have uh, the, the refrigerator. Hey, you saw the door open just a second ago. There it goes. There it goes. Automatic doors into uh, a 10,000 square feet of cooling space here at the Food Bank of the Rockies so that they can uh, distribute fresh produce to people. A third of the food that they uh, get out there is fresh food. And again, they do this every day of the year. They do this for partner agencies, but they need your donations, Brian, because as you pointed out, some of their resources have dried up. They're not getting as much food donated. They're not getting as much uh, money donated. Grocery stores aren't able to deliver as much. So the Food Bank of the Rockies spent an unprecedented $1.7 million last month on food and fuel costs. Uh, which of course is, is very high for diesel trucks here. Uh, so they need your donations more than ever. A dollar can buy four meals and we are making it so easy for you to donate over the next seven days. Yeah, so many factors to this, Nicole, mm -hmm. and they're already hard at work trying to distribute that food and now we yeah. want to do our part. So uh, we want to let you know if you can donate Again, a little goes a long way. $25 to the Food Bank of the Rockies can distribute enough food for 100 meals. You can donate right now on the DenverChannel.com. And we are matching the first $10,000 raised dollar for dollar through our Denver 7 Gives Fund.